Good morning, family. This is Miss Norma. Um, our reading for today, this is for March the 16th. He has our back. Sing, O heavens, and be joyful. O earth, and break forth into singing. O mountains, for the Lord have comforted his people and will have mercy upon his afflicted. Amen. That's from the Old Testament, the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 49 and verse 13. Amen. Abba Father, we greet you this morning, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, our strength, our redeemer, the source, Lord, of our lives and the source of our victorious life, Father. For, Lord, we pray over the circumstances that have be, have assailed us, Lord. Father, there are many seasons to pray and in many reasons, Lord. There's illness, Lord. There's the breakup of families, Father. There's, um, Lord, death that is upon us as well, Father. But, Lord, in the midst of all of that, you give us joy, Father. New babies are born, Lord. Father, um, we get our degrees. We graduate, Lord. Um, we have celebrations. We get to celebrate our family members, Lord, our elders, Lord, our, our little people. And Father, sometimes the comfort and the joys come with things that you have done for us. Lord, wherever we are in our circumstances, Father, in the midst of it all, may we rest in your joy and in your strength. Amen. Welcome, family, and good morning. This is Miss Norma. Our reading for March 16th, He Has Our Back. Amen. It says, For 40 years, God provided food for the children of Israel. He didn't give them manna for a week at a time. He gave it to them daily. If they collected more than a day's worth at a time, He, he gave um, if they collected more than a day's worth at a time, the unused manna rotted by morning. Why? Scripture said it was like coriander seeds, but coriander seeds can last much longer than a day. The fact that the manna melted when the sun waxed hot means that it was only one day's supply. One day's supply, family. God designed the manna to be good for only one day. He wanted his children to rely on him for their daily sustenance. Amen. Hallelujah. He wanted them to look forward to the next day. He wanted them to know that he was the one who brought them out of Egypt and was going to be the one who would feed them during their journey to Canaan. He wanted to remind them daily. Amen, family. Amen. Speak to my heart, Lord Jesus. Amen. The Lord knows what our needs are. He will provide for us no matter what is on the horizon. If only we trust that he will do what he promised. Put food on our table. Provide water to quench our thirst. And give shelter from pestilence. We tend to think that we have to gather and hoard things to make sure that we are not lacking, forgetting that everything in the universe is God's, and he will never leave us nor forsake us. That's Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 5 in the New Testament. While Jesus was with his disciples, they too forgot that they were in the presence of a powerful master who fed Israel in the desert as well as the 5,000 and the 4,000. We have so many examples of the power of the omnipotent God. Still, we worry about our tomorrow. Sure, there is pestilence in the world, but he will protect us as he did the children of Israel from the plagues in the land of Egypt. He said that not a hair of our head will fall without his knowing. Sometimes I imagine God chuckling at all the situ solutions men think they have, not realizing 
that the answer is in his hands. Amen. I pray that this precious promise will encourage your heart. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us, loved us. Romans eight thirty five to 30 and 37. Amen. Our reading today was written by Flora Aubrey Hamilton. Thank you. Thank you, Abba Father, for this reading. Lord, oh Father, break up the fallow ground that's in our hearts, Father. Lord, help us to be like the eagle, Lord, that during a storm, the eagle cups his wings and allows the wind to push him above the storm, push them. Lord, help us. Give us the mindset of an eagle. Give us the faith, Lord, to trust you, Lord. And, Father, that there is nothing that can assail us that, one, you aren't aware of. And, Lord, you have already made a way for us to manage it. Help us, Abba Father, to keep our eyes focused on you, even when the times of life hit, hit us, Lord. Help us to stay focused. In Jesus' name, amen. Welcome to new family members. Welcome to new friends. Welcome to the recent prayer warriors who have joined us. Thank you so much. It's a very informal, just whenever you think about this page, this time here, should it cross your mind, just say a prayer for us. Um, that's just something that we can do. We never know when one of us is going to speak the word over this page and this space here. But the Lord knows, and he releases the blessings here. Family, I am so glad you are here. I am so glad to be here. Continue to trust him, Lord. I mean, to trust in the Lord um, with all that is on your plate. I know, and some of us are in some very dire circumstances. Some of us are in mental places. Some of us are spiritually in places. Some of us are without physical, a place to call home. There are some that are standing in the hospital room and having to stand in helpless and not be able to help. You might have a doctor looking at you and just saying, we've done everything that we could. It could be in your own situation. It could be in a loved one's situation. Whatever it is, family, the Lord has our back through all the things. This part here that said, um, says, um, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? It says, shall tribulation I know somebody's walking in tribulation today. Distress, persecution, famine, you're hungry, naked, unclothed, just in peril, at the sword. I don't know where you are, but God does. And the Lord can see you through the outcome. You say how and why. I don't know how and why, but I know that God is. Amen. Amen. And amen. This morning, the Lord just gave me our song. Our song for today is God is. It's on the playlist. Um, God is the source and the strength of my life. And I'm telling you, listen to it, family. Be blessed. Enjoy. Trust him implicitly. We may not be able to trust each other, but we can trust the Lord. And I don't know how he needs to build your faith or grow it, but he does. But if you know that there's a lack in your life or if there's a miss in your relationship between you and God, you all you have to do is ask him sincerely. Go to him and say, Lord, I need that you know what I'm missing. And if you stretch out before him, whether you stretch this way, family, stretch out, or whether you actually lay down on the floor and cry out, 
I'm telling you, there is nothing too hard. Holy Spirit, Father, as the prayers go forth today, infuse your children, Lord, that are crying out. Lord, infuse all of us with your spirit. But Lord, there's are those that are going to cry out today with an emptiness inside of them that's going to bowl them over. And Lord, they don't seem to be able to get up. Abba Father, I'm asking now, Lord, on behalf, Lord, of our YouTube family here and anyone who's not even associated, but there's a child somewhere wondering and, and waiting and watching or even feeling hopeless, Lord, bless them today. Infuse them with your love, Lord. Let them hear from you, Lord. Bring your children, Lord. Bring us in to the shelter of your everlasting, eternal love. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' name, remember our children, our country, Lord. All the things happening around us, Abba Father. And then there's our own stuff that's happening around us. Thank you, Lord, for deliverance. Thank you, Lord, for opening our eyes that we can see. Lord, allow the scales to fall off if we if our eyes are covered in scales and we can't see your hand of grace and mercy, Lord, or we can't hear your voice, Lord, unstop our ears today. Thank you, Abba Father. Lord, knock on that door. Father, the heart that is receptive, open the door and greet your Lord and Savior. Accept him into your life. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' name, Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life, and the light, and remember, family, hallelujah, God is. Thank you, Abba Father, for this precious time this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. God is the song for the day, family. Um, our verse for the day um, is from Psalm 1914. Say it with me. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed day, family. This is Miss Norma. I 